my name is Caitlin Ladeen, and I'll be performing monologues from A Midsummer Night's Dream and Richard III. Thank you. Oh, spite! Oh, hell! Oh, I see you were all bent to set against me for your merriment. If you were civil and knew courtesy, you would not do me thus much injury. Can you not hate me as I know you do, but you must join in souls to mock me too? If you were men, as men you are in show, you would not use a gentle lady so to vow and swear and to praise my parts when I am sure you hate me with your hearts. You are both rivals and love Hermia, and now both rivals to mock Helena, a trim exploit, a manly enterprise to conjure tears up in a poor maid's eyes with your derision. None of noble sort would so offend a virgin and extort a poor soul's patience, all to make you sport. Set down, set down, your honorable load. If honor may be shrouded in a hearse, whilst I a while obsequiously lament the untimely fall of virtuous Lancaster, poor. He cold figure of a holy king, pale ashes of the house of Lancaster, thou bloodless remnant of that royal blood. Be it lawful that I invocate thy ghost to hear the lamentations of poor Anne, wife to thy Edward, to thy slaughtered son, stabbed by the self-same hand that made these wounds. Lo, in these windows that let forth thy life, I pour the helpless balm of my poor eyes. Curse be the hand that made these fatal holes. Curse be the heart that had the heart to do it. Curse be the blood that let this blood from him. More direful appetite that hated wretch that makes us wretched by the death of thee that I can wish you adders, spiders, toads, or any creeping venom thing that lives. If ever he have child, abortive be it, prodigious and untimely brought to light, whose ugly and unnatural aspect may fright the hopeful mother at the view, and that be heir to his unhappiness. If ever he have wife, let her he made a miserable by the death of him. As I am made by my poor Lord and thee. Come. Now towards Chertsey with your holy load, taken from Paul's to be interred there. And still, as you are weary of the weight, rest you, whilst I lament King Henry's corpse. Hi, my name is Caitlin Ladeen, and I'll be performing a monologue from The Two Gentlemen of Verona. Thank you. How many women would do such a message? Alas. Poor Proteus, thou hast entertained a fox to be the shepherd of thy lambs. Alas, poor fool, oh, why do I pity him that with his very heart despiseth me? Because he loves her, he despiseth me. Because I love him, I must pity him. This rein I gave to him when he parted from me to bind him to remember my good will. And now am I, unhappy messenger, to plead for that which I would not obtain, to carry that which I would have refused, to praise his faith which I would have dispraised. I am my master's true, confirmed love, but cannot be true servant to my master unless I prove false traitor to myself. Yet will I woo for him, but yet so coldly, as heaven it knows, I would not have him speed. Thank you.